Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Python in your Visual Studio Code. So to set up Python on your Visual Studio Code, first we have to download Python executable file. For that, just open your favorite browser. For now, I'm using Google Chrome and search for Python and open the link from python.org. So don't worry about the link. Link will be on the description box. So in this page, you will find all the documentation about Python. So for now, we are just going to download Python. So scroll up and here you will find download option. Just click this download option and here you will find download option for Windows. So if you use another operating system such as Linux, Unix or Mac OS, then just click these options and you will be able to download Python for your required operating system. So for now, my operating system is Windows, so I'm going to download Windows version of Python. Just click this download Python 3.6.5. So here the file is downloading. So it is around 30 MB, so it will take some time. So after completing the download, I will show you how you can install Python on your Windows 10 machine. So the download has been completed. So let us install the file. To install your file, just open the executable file. So here we have installation wizard. For now, I'm just going to minimize my browser and here we have the installation wizard. So before installing Python, don't forget to check this option Add Python 3.6 to path. So when you check this option, it will add the path in your environment variable. Then click on install now option. Then click on yes. So as you can see here, Python is installing on my system. So here we have setup was successful. So we had installed Python successfully on our computer. So just close this window and to open Python on your system, just click this window icon and here search for Python. So let me go to P and here we have a folder called Python 3.6 and here we have four options. One is Python IDE and here we have Python shell and here we have Python 3.6 manual and this is Python module doc. So first let us open Python shell and this is the Python shell. So if you want to print hello world using Python language, just write print hello world. So in Python, we don't need to write semicolon, then hit enter. So here in our Python shell, here we have hello world. So now let me show you how you can run Python using Python IDE. For now, I'm just going to close this window. And again, I'm going to search for Python. This time I want to open this Python IDE. So this is the Python IDE. So here let me print hello world. So to print hello world, just write print. And between this parentheses, just write your string variable. So my string variable is hello world. Then hit enter. So here we have hello world on our console. So this way you can install Python on your Windows 10 machine. Now we have to download Visual Studio Code to set up Python with Visual Studio Code. So for now, I'm just going to close this window. So to download Visual Studio Code, just open your browser and search for Visual Studio Code. Then open this link from code.visualstudio.com. So don't worry about the link. Link will be on the description box. And here we have the download page. So just click this arrow button and here you will find your operating system. So my operating system is Windows, so I'm going to download Windows installer file. So just click this download icon. So here you can see that our Visual Studio code is downloading. So here we have the documentation and here we can find why we use Visual Studio code to run Python programs, to run C or C++ program or if you want to debug, then you can use Visual Studio code. So the file has been successfully downloaded. So let us install the file. To install your file, just click on the file. Then click on yes. And here we have our installation wizard. So for now, I'm just going to minimize my browser. And here I'm just going to click on next. Then accept license agreement. Then again, click on next. So this is the folder where Visual Studio Code is going to install. Then click on next. Then again, click on next. So if you want to create some desktop shortcut, just click on this create and desktop icon. Then click on next. And here click on install. So it will going to install Visual Studio Code on your Windows 10 machine. So we had installed Visual Studio Code on our system. 
right now i don't want to open visual studio code so i'll just uncheck this option and then click on finish so this is our visual studio code so let us open visual studio code so here we have visual studio code on our system so let me maximize the window so if you don't know about visual studio code visual studio code is a software which allows you to write python program c program c++ program c sharp program and you can also create programs for windows machine and you can also debug some error and you can also use visual studio code for debugging so here are the options so you can create folders or you can open folders and you can search anything in your computer and this is your source controller using this option you can control your source code and this is your debug option and this is your extension so by installing extension we can write different programming language on this visual studio code so here we have different extension so if you want to build python program then you have to use python extension if you want to debug then you can install this one so now we want to set up python in our visual studio code for that just install this python extension to install your python extension just click on this install option so here you can see that python extension is installing in our visual studio code so here you can see that around 12 million downloads so this visual studio code is quite popular to write python programs so python extension is installing so i will just close these pop-ups so the extension is successfully installed on our visual studio code so to activate python extension on your visual studio code we have to reload the software just click on this reload option and it will going to reload your visual studio code so here we have python on our visual studio code so now let us create one python project so for that first we have to set path variable so to set your path variable or to configure visual studio code for python just click on file then click on preference then click on setting and search for python path just write python then path so here let us search for python path so here we have the python path just copy this and here we have user setting just go here and just paste this code and we have to change this python value for that just open your c drive and go to the location where you have installed python so i had installed my python on user and this oj folder and here on app data then in location then in local then programs and here i have the python folder and open this folder and here we have the python location if you are not getting your python location just search python folder you will get your python location folder so this is my python location folder i am just going to copy this and i am just going to paste it here so instead of this python here i am just going to paste python location so this is my python location so now here we have error so we have to fix this error so instead of this backward slash just write forward slash so change all backward slash to forward slash so here i am just going to change the backward slash so this is the location now we have to put forward slash then write python dot exe then save the change to save your change just click on file then click on save so we had successfully set our path variable so now we are just going to create a python program for that here i'm just going to create one folder so here let me create one folder say for example python and inside this python folder i'm just going to save my python file so again open the visual studio code then click on this explorer then open the folder so go to desktop and here i have the python folder i'm just going to open this python folder and inside this python folder i'm just going to create one python file for that just click on this new file option you can also right click on this area then click on new file and here i'm just going to write my file name say for example hello dot py so this dot py is python extension then hit enter so here i have hello dot py file so this hello.py file is the python file so here it will suggest you some extension to install for now i'm not going to install this so i will just close this pop-ups and here i'm just going to write a simple program to print hello world using python language so here let's write print hello world 
so now we have to save our python file for that just click on file then click on save i had already told you that it will suggest you some extension to install so for now don't install any extension so if you need to install any extension then go to this extension option and search the extension so for now i'm just going to close this pop-ups so now to run your python file just go to this debug option and here we have to configure our python path just click on this arrow then here you will find add configuration and click on python so after selecting python just click on this start debugging and it will start to debug and here on our terminal here we will find hello world that means python is successfully configured or set up with visual studio code so this way you can set up python in your visual studio code so i hope this video was helpful to you thanks for watching that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more programming videos like this bye for now see you next video